Xbox just revealed its time and date for its E3 livestream presentation and it brings in a new image which has a lot of new things to showcase about Halo Infinite. As well as the next Inside Infinite development update getting a month delay. Want to know more? Well stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So yes, we finally have a date and time for when we can expect some serious Halo news, but it also dropped some interesting tidbits of information at this announcement as well. So in this video, I wanted to go over exactly all the information that you're going to need to know to get yourself ready for E3 this year for Halo Infinite, because it's going to be some pretty good stuff. So if you want to stay up to date with Halo or like these kind of videos and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So Xbox Twitter blessed us this morning with this awesome post right here saying games, 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 world premieres, new titles, and Xbox Game Pass. Save the day for the Xbox and Bethesda Games Showcase. And dropping us this amazing promotional art right here, which look at this focus on Halo. I mean, like when you first look at this, it's, it's all Halo to you, but this is actually two games that they're showcasing within the same image. Obviously, let's focus on the Halo stuff. So let's take a quick look at our big Spartan boys over here. So they're sporting some new armor customization that we've never seen before, as well as a new weapon that we haven't really seen because outside of the toy reveals obviously so let's go left to right and work our way across right here so first off we got some pelicans in the back right here looks like we got some mountain ranges that we've seen before but this is like straight up like emil from halo reach right here in the promotional image which is very interesting and if you zoom in a little bit more it looks like he's holding on to the bulldog shotgun as well it's a bit blurry but that's what it kind of looks like to me it looks like that's where the drum mag is the handle the short stock of the bulldog most likely that weapon just over his shoulder though we have a first reveal of the new updated sidekick if you remember guys the sidekick did get an upgrade of a more halo like aesthetic when it comes to its profile so what it looks like right here essentially it looks like they just kind of added on this bottom part right here maybe it's some tactical part that adds some new element to the weapon to make it more interesting We'll just have to wait and see until this E3 reveal. Of course, the Spartan holding the weapon looks very similar to Carter from Halo Reach as well. Obviously not the same armor set, but very similar helmet. And it just like has like a really cool like hoodie look that we saw back in Halo Reach as well. Also looks like they're sporting a new kind of coating, like a red, black, and white or silvery kind of coloration to it as well, which is awesome. Let's take a look at our big boy Spartan right up in the front right here. Interesting thing. This helmet is definitely has a addition right here this and this could definitely mean that they're going to be like helmet additions similar to we had back in halo reach for halo infinite as well which i kind of expected as they did state or previously that if we like halo reaches armor customization you'll like infinite and so this is very promising right here also take a look at the undersuit it's very different much more of a textured almost fabric kind of look to it where normally the undersuit is much more like of a rubbery kind of look to it just another thing to take in consideration when it comes to customization. Looks like we have a bit of like an, a, a chest piece addition as well because it does look very similar to the Mark 7 armor set that we've had for Halo Infinite. Here is the M40 assault rifle that the Spartan is holding, rocking a different kind of coating on top of that as well. Nothing that we've ever seen before within the game, so this looks pretty sweet like it, it got that's one thing i'm actually really excited about is that coding system that they're not gonna go too crazy on the customization and not gonna go any kind of crazy game breaking immersion breaking kind of stuff but you never know that might get patched in later like a year into the game but we'll see now here's a really cool option right here guys look at this this is what's called a stalker rifle we saw this rifle really revealed previously through toy reveals might mainly held by jackal so this could be like a jackal kind of dmr or sniper rifle kind of thing uh mo probably most likely a long range thing as it is meant to be like i guess a stealthy because it's a stalker right meant to be kind of sneaking through the way to take out your enemies so maybe this is, might be kind of more of a stealth based weapon though this certainly doesn't look very stealthy it looks pretty beefy and badass and also this armor set over here is straight out of reach like that's a reach helmet we've seen this armband kind of customization for reach as well and from other toy reviews that we've seen from Halo Infinite, or at least 
tied in with Halo Infinite, a lot of Halo Reach characters along with it. So it's very interesting to see the strong tie to Halo Reach when it comes to its visual presentation. It's a game that's scheduled to happen within the universe, like what, like a decade after the events of Halo Reach? We do have the book Shadows of Reach, which obviously Master Chief and Blue Team go back to the planet to recover an asset, but um, it's very interesting how strong of a visual presentation Reach has, or, Reach, or at least an influence. I would say other things to take note of in this image is also like this side left right here, where you see 2002, 2003, it looks like a 2004, kind of like winding the clock kind of look to the whole thing. I have a feeling that since this will be the 20th anniversary of Xbox being a platform, most likely we'll see some kind of presentation just showcasing Xbox over the past 20 years, celebrating the platform lasting this long, because there are not very many consoles that have lasted this long within the gaming universe, and Halo definitely had a big part to do with that, because without Halo, I don't know if the Xbox One, the original Xbox, would have made it all the way through the 360, and certainly maybe, well, not even to the Xbox One, but you know, that's just, uh, we'll probably see a little bit of like a celebrational kind of promotional material with that. If it's going to tie into anything, we'll see. Maybe there's some kind of cool deal with the Game Pass might get tied in with the E3 presentation. And the last thing to point out about this, I thought this was just like a planet or something like that that's going to take part within Halo, right? I thought this was all just Halo and Xbox, but this actually isn't Halo. This planet right here, this is actually from Starfield, from the promotional images that we've seen here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is Bethesda's big sci-fi RPG game that we haven't really seen anything else besides this image for the most part and the one announcement that they had back at E3. But take a look at this land formation right here and this lakes right here. Look, take a quick look at this. Remember the shape, okay? Remember that kind of open lake draining into other lakes kind of shape? Now let's go take a look at the Xbox promotional image. Like, hmm, looks a little familiar, wouldn't you say? Very familiar there. Obviously it was distorted to kind of fit into like this circular kind of look to the whole thing, but that's definitely Starfield. So Xbox, big swing in right now. So it looks like Starfield and Halo Infinite are gonna be taking over the show when it comes to Xbox slash Bethesda game showcase presentation for E3. I guarantee you guys will be covering as much as we can about this presentation. And we'll be doing a watch party on my Twitch channel. Link in the description down below. We do stream also every Tuesday and Thursday, playing some Halo, obviously. And you better believe it, as soon as that information gets released, guys, I'll be releasing multiple videos breaking down everything to let you guys know all these kind of details about Halo Infinite that we will learn at E3 this year. Very exciting time. And lastly here, a little bit of sad news. I did make a video talking about how there's going to be Inside Infinite development update Thursday, which is today, and apparently that's actually not going to happen. Community director Sketch actually replied to a comment here on Reddit when the comment was talking about the Halo Waypoint update happening today, it should have been, and Sketch replies back saying, speaking of, with the Xbox and Bethesda games showcase right around the corner, we're pushing this week's Inside Infinite blog to next month. Apologies to folks who are looking forward to this one, but we'll have plenty to talk about in June to hopefully make up for this shift. The work the Waypoint team is doing is really shaping up wonderfully and will give them the spotlight next month. So this is a big bummer for me. I was really looking forward to this, to this development update because this was gonna actually have some pretty interesting information beyond just the website itself. It's gonna talk about the correlating app and probably also a little bit of information about progression and customization when it comes to Halo Infinite. As it was stated in the April development update saying how Waypoint app and website will be involved with customization and progression. But guys, we're only like 17 days away from getting some legitimate Halo Infinite presentation, news, possibly gameplay, maybe even multiplayer information as well. So in the short term, this really sucks to get this information delayed, but in the long term, it seems to be the best play. And especially after E3, a lot of things are gonna change for Halo Infinite when it comes to news and information. So if you guys wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. If you missed any content from me recently or been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I can link to all my news and informational videos. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.